wherever we are in the world, communication is vital. This is no different, even when you are in the middle of the ocean. We often hear stories of maritime vessels lost at sea for months, or of emergency rescue operations carried out in the nick of time. All these situations revolve around communication systems. So how do communication systems work from the middle of the ocean? The answer lies among the stars, satellites. These satellites orbit high above the Earth, acting as relay stations, ensuring that your phone calls, TV broadcasts, and even GPS services work seamlessly. Transmitting data. When you want to make a call, send an email, or stream a video, your device sends signals to a ground station or satellite dish. These signals are then sent into space. Satellite relay. The signals travel to a satellite in orbit. The satellite's transponders receive these signals, amplify them, and send them back to Earth. Receiving data. Your signal is received by another ground station or satellite dish. This station then processes the signal, allowing you to communicate with the other person, access the internet, or watch your favorite show. Due to their positioning, maritime vessels are also able to communicate via satellites. First, Let's understand why VSAT systems are essential in the oil and gas sector. This industry often operates in remote areas, far from traditional communication infrastructure. VSAT, or Very Small Aperture Terminal, technology provides a reliable solution for high-speed data, voice, and video communication where terrestrial networks fall short. Fixed VSAT systems include C-band VSAT, these systems operate in the C-band frequency range and are known for their reliability in adverse weather conditions. They are often used in offshore drilling platforms and remote oilfield locations. The C-band frequency range, 4 GHz to 8 GHz, has been a cornerstone of satellite communications for decades. This lower frequency spectrum enables lower cost per megabit than other VSAT frequencies and offers less signal susceptibility to the effects of rain and interference from other climate-related factors, including sea spray in rough conditions. Ku-band VSAT Ku-band VSAT systems provide higher data transmission rates and are suitable for applications that require greater bandwidth, such as video conferencing and high-speed data transfer. The Ku band frequency spectrum, 12 to 18 GHz, for satellite communication is commonly used for maritime VSAT services. Global capacity and high availability means that Ku band systems can be an economical and flexible means of obtaining a high throughput on smaller reflector dishes than needed for C band VSAT, making it suitable for a wider range of vessels. Car band VSAT Car-band VSAT systems offer even higher data rates and are well-suited for bandwidth-intensive applications, including high-definition video streaming and real-time monitoring of drilling operations. The car-band frequency spectrum, 18 to 40 GHz, for satellite communication is the basis for a new generation of services on high-throughput satellites, HTS, which use a spot-beam configuration to deliver more bandwidth throughout the coverage area. The spot beam architecture in car band satellites creates overlapping coverage, which has introduced the very real possibility to use smaller antennas on board while still maintaining a strong link. This is opening VSAT up to more vessel types, including fishing and smaller workboats. However, car band VSAT is very susceptible to rain fade, where moisture and humidity can interfere with the signal. Another option is Starlink satellite communication. Starlink is a network of low Earth orbit, LEO, satellites which aims to provide mobile internet access around the world. The network will eventually consist of 40,000 small satellites, orbiting Earth at multiple operational altitudes. Starlink is designed for permanent installation on a vessel and can withstand extreme cold, heat, sleet, heavy rain, and hurricane winds. Site Survey. Before installation, a thorough site survey is conducted to determine the best location for the VSAT dish. 
Factors like line of sight to the satellite, security, and accessibility are considered. Dish selection. Choosing the appropriate VSAT dish size and type is crucial. Larger dishes can provide higher bandwidth but may require more space. Cabling. Proper cabling is essential to ensure the data transmission is efficient and secure. High-quality coaxial cables are often used. Now, let's break down the installation process step by step. Mounting the dish. The VSAT dish is mounted on a stable, secure structure, typically a concrete or steel platform. Proper alignment with the satellite is crucial for optimal signal reception. Assembling the equipment. The VSAT system consists of a dish, a transmitter, a receiver, and an outdoor unit, ODU. These components are assembled and connected according to the manufacturer's guidelines. Pointing the dish. A technician uses a satellite signal meter to precisely align the VSAT dish with the target satellite. This process may take time and requires great precision. Testing and commissioning. Once the dish is aligned, a series of tests are performed to ensure that the system is functioning correctly. This includes checking signal strength, latency, and data throughput. Installing VSAT systems in the oil and gas industry comes with its own set of challenges. Harsh environments, oil and gas facilities often face extreme weather conditions. Properly sealed and weatherproofed equipment is necessary. Security. Given the sensitive nature of the industry, security measures are crucial to protect data transmission and the VSAT equipment itself. Maintenance. Regular maintenance is essential to keep the system in peak condition, as it's often deployed in remote and hard-to-reach locations. Despite the challenges, the benefits of installing VSAT systems in the oil and gas sector are significant. It ensures seamless communication, data transfer, and remote monitoring, ultimately contributing to the industry's safety and productivity.